Okay, we're a little bit early, everybody, but here we go. So we'll just start off here. A uh, little, let's get your energy up. Anybody need, need some energy? Okay, so what you want to do is uh, a little affirmation in a sense. I know I increase my life force energy. So you can all stand if you like. And put your hands uh, out and kind of come in slowly until you feel that invisible ball tension. And it'll be somewhere... Okay, now once you feel that, and I'll say out loud, I now increase my life force energy, and move your hands, okay, move your hands further apart, okay, and now come in again, sample, and do, I now increase my life force energy, okay, and move your hands further apart again, I now increase my life force energy, and we'll do it one more time. I now increase my life force energy. And your hands way out here now, everybody? Okay, now you can drop them down. And let's say it five times together. I now increase my life force energy. 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 I now increase my life force force, energy. There you go. You sit down. So what you did is you commanded your spirit. Remember, all healing is a command. So you have to command your spirit to do something. And it must be out loud. If you do it inside of your head, then you're not in the present energy that you're living in. You're not in the now. And then you're out on timelines. So then you're in darkness. So basically, there's two energy systems that are here. There's source energy, which you all have inside of yourself with your spirit. And then you have mind energy, which is outside of yourself, controlled by the aliens and mind control projections, mind control programs and timelines, parallel lives. All that energy is of darkness. So basically, when you think you are judging the light, because in, in true light, there's no judgment. Everything is in the present moment in the now. There's no past and there's no future. But the darkness here, the aliens that are holding you captive here on this prison planet, okay, gave you mind energy to separate you from source, your own source. So source energy is all around you, but your own connection to it is inside of yourself. Any questions so far? Okay, so th this will be, uh, I'll be talking about timelines. I get into alien stuff. I never really wanted to get into alien agendas, but I had to get into that because people needed help with doing clearings to free themselves from the alien trap that's here. Uh, so basically for my own self, dealing with aliens continuously, going in, in the underground tunnels fighting them, going up on ships fighting them, going out in the Beyondo fighting them, uh, I have not seen hardly any, say, positive aliens. A lot of them are robotic. A lot of them are, are just controlled. Remember, as above, so below. So if you have heard about an alien race, which everybody probably has, the greys come out all the time with people, oh, greys or Palladians or, you know, uh, you know, the lizard people, you know, reptilians, you know, you go from A to Z. Uh, if you've heard about these particular aliens, they're in duality also because you live in duality. So are they good? Well, there's different degrees of goodness, but they're still controlling you through mind energies. So some people will say, gee, Ron, you mean you're saying all aliens are bad? Well, not necessarily, but the ones that are controlling you are. There are aliens that live underground that are probably peaceful, who don't come to the surface, and they're not interfering with your life, giving you mind control transmissions, giving you robotic programs, and so they're, you know, in a whole different agenda. I deal with the ones that are negative. So, I live completely out of time. I don't live in time like you live in time. I live in the present moment. And that, that's what makes me different than you because that's where I, I, I choose to live and that's where I live. So what I'll do is bring you, uh, we're talking about timelines on this particular talk here. And in fact, we're in uh, uh, San Mateo. This is uh, month of uh, April 2014. There we go. I have to think where I am, okay? <laughs> So, uh, timelines. So, 
The darkness gave you parallel lifetimes. They gave you past lives. They gave you uh, your soul family, your agreements. You came in here once upon a time a long time ago. Remember, time is used a lot here. And then when I talk, I talk about time. So you, were, you came here once as your spirit with light in it came into a body. In true light, you would come into one, one particular incarnation, energize a spiritual blueprint. This is in true light. When you wanted to leave, you de-energized it and you left. Then you had another incarnation wherever you chose to go to. With here, you're kind of trapped here, unfortunately. Why you're trapped here, just the alien agenda that, that brought you in here. Uh, so, timelines. You're all living multiple timelines. And if you have a situation happening in your life, anybody have any pains here? Let me see your hand, and I'll do some quick healing here. Okay, so just kind of notice your pain. Uh, I'm not really telling you to focus on it, to use mind energy, because your body does not really like mind energy. It wants to be in source energy. So I'll do some clicks here with my fingers to release your pain here. Okay, how's your pain? Is it subsided somewhat? Okay, I'll do it some more. There we go. Anybody pain-free? Basically, okay, I got some hands there. Anybody need some more? Okay. So what I'm doing is releasing your pain energy instantly, and in its place is peace. Peace is spirit energy. And that's from your spirit. So that little cubby hole of pain is now released from you. How do you feel? Is your pain much better? Less? Okay, let's take an emotional issue. So everybody think of an emotional issue that you've had. Maybe you had one today. Got your buttons pushed. Okay, here we go. I'm going to release that from you. It's gone. Look at another one that you may have had. I'll, I'll do 10 of these here. So that's the first one. And here we go. Another one. Gone. Third one. Gone. Fourth one. Gone. Fifth one. Gone. Sixth one. Gone. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. So is your body's relaxing? Okay. And so what happens is when you get the energy released from you that's causing your problem, all of a sudden your body can relax and you can feel better. Uh, timeline. So let's just say that you uh, uh, stubbed your toe this morning. So what happens? Since you live in the uh, alien agenda here, they will replicate you, clone you out, and put you into parallel timelines with maybe a, a toe problem, the same toe problem. So you could be on uh, 500 to 1,000 of these timelines. Okay, now, now this is your parallel lifetime, okay, in the now. In their, their now, okay. And you're trying to get your toe healed, and you can't do that because they're copy and pasting, just like you do with your computer. They're copy and pasting your sore toe onto you. So on my website, I have uh, a clearing for timeline crashing. So you go in there. It costs $20 a week, $60 a month. You can do a lot of work on yourself if you're dedicated for healing. And you get in there, and you clear away those timelines. And once that timeline is released from you automatically, your toe can probably start to heal, and it might heal within a day or two. Until that time happens, you're out on timelines with your toe having a problem, the aliens take your energy from you. They take your, your pain energy. They live off of that and also your emotional energy. I won't talk about them eating humans. So that's another agenda. I'll go into a little bit. Uh, this may freak some of you out. But see, people that live here on this planet normally like to have uh, your, I'll use the word meat, cooked, right? You don't eat raw meat normally unless you have sushi. So... The aliens, and it's dead, the aliens like to have their meat living. So, aside from that, where are we? <laughs> so, the next thing is, uh, uh, everybody is abducted every 10 minutes. You may not know that. Remember, timelines are on, off, on, off, on, off. So, think of like your computer, you know, with the ones and the zeros if you had electronic background, you know, it's either on or off, okay? But you don't know where, you're, where you are when you're not here. 
okay? So they can stop time for, let's just say, a week, and you're just frozen in space. And then they turn time back on again, and then you start moving. So what happens is, what are they doing with you when you're abducted? It's hard to say. But most, uh, most people, there, there's two types of people now. The, uh, the worst problem that happened was December 21st of 2012. That was the main abduction day. And I can use the term ascension for the darkness. Everybody heard about the end of the Mayan calendar, kind of bought into that somewhat, or you heard about it. If you heard about it, you got locked into it. And then 90% of the planet around that particular time got abducted. They left, but came back here as true clone energies of people. So anybody in here ever went to a store and gave the uh, counter person maybe the exact change or change a little bit different? They didn't know how to give change to you? Or you ask for uh, directions, they don't know where something is? It's because that person is not who it used to be a long time ago. The person is now in the beyond all. They just replicated them and brought them back as a clone entity here with the whole backstory of their life. And you got the whole backstory too of their life if you saw them uh, physically because you would have your own mind control energies. So what I talk about is uh, uh, ship clouds. We'll go into that right now. So if you remember back, if you're older, remember back the clouds that used to be here, like in the 60s and 50s, there were round clouds. And from the uh, probably maybe the 90s forward now, the clouds are flat bottomed. And the flat bottom clouds form around the alien ships that are out there giving you mind control transmissions and abductions. So any of you remember the round clouds? You might get them here maybe a couple times a month or something, right? You know, you go, oh, what's that thing? You know, oh, that's a, that's a cloud. I remember that, right? But most people don't know that. The, the young children don't. You ask them to draw a cloud, it'll be a flat bottom cloud. Okay. Uh, so what I'm going to do is make these plants real. Th these right now are a cloned plant. Is it, is it in, in the right direction for everybody? Can you see something happening here on the front? I, I can't see the front, so I'll go this way here. that better? Okay, so these now are, are an artificial intelligent cloned plant. Okay, now watch the energy. And I'm going to take it away from timelines to make it real. So I'll do probably 100 timelines. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I don't want to shake the table here. So... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70. Are they changing? Do you see the, the glow around the plants now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 80. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 90. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 100. I'll make it real now, so I'll count to 5. Bring it in here as a real entity. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So right now it's a r real flowers. Can you see the difference on it? Any comments? I, I see the difference. More what? Warm. Warm? But more volume, yes, uh-huh. So I'll do that to you people. So, like I said, uh, what happens is they abduct you every 10 minutes. So you may say, well, what is that about? I don't have any remembrance of being abducted, right? People think of the movies where you see somebody get beamed up to a, to a, a UFO and they play with you and do whatever else and put you back down again in some other area or maybe on your bed crooked or something. Well, you're, you're actually up and down all the time. So each time you leave here, Another alien race has you. They, they have your, your property, which is you. So they timeshare you with your emotional problem or your, your physical pain. So let's work with your left hand. So what I'm going to do is make your left hand real. So here we go. Just kind of, you know, check out both your hands, right? And just, you know, they're your hands, right, typically? Because <laughs> they're on your body. Here we go. So left hand. And we'll make it real. So... 
I'll count to 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20. There. How's your hand feel? Does it look different than your other hand? Have more weight to it or less weight? Okay. Is it, is it softer? More moisture in your hand? Okay. So now I'll do your other hand. Okay. So here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20. Okay, how's your hands feel? Feel better? Fuzzy. Can't tell the difference there? Okay, fuzzy. Anybody else uh, want to comment on that? Warmer? Okay. Moisture? Okay. Warm and tingling? Okay, so what happens is, is uh, as you have, like I said, a, a condition happening to you, you're replicated, and you're taken away every 10 minutes, and a different alien race has you. So what I would like to do is have some volunteers come up here, and what I'll do is uh, declone you. Okay, yeah, you can, just, you can just stand in front here. That'd be great. Yeah, you face the audience, and... So I want the people in the audience to kind of watch these people. And what typically happens is some people may kind of jerk a little bit. Uh, you may find their height changing. Their width can change. Their clothes can change on their body. Uh, their hair color might change. Because remember, what I'm doing, instead of them being out on, say, uh, 100 parallel lifetimes, they're being replicated 100 different times. Each time I, I do a number count, they're going to be controlled by a different alien race who had a recreate these people, okay? So I'm speeding time up. Here we go. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And how are you people feeling in the front here? Feel a little different? Lightheaded, okay. Here we go. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 80. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 90. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 100. I have to go a little further here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 110. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 120. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, there we go. Okay, coming in, I'll count to 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. There. So how do you people feel? Yeah, yeah you all look different to me, yeah, up here. See, a lot of vibration. Okay, now look at the audience. Okay. Looks blurry. Okay, do they look like, look like they're uh, mannequins? Okay. And now, now look at the people up here that just did this. And you're going to notice that they're glowing. And then you look, go to the audience, and it's like they're in a fishbowl, then a movie set. I saw things leaving. Things leaving? Leaving here, all the energy. Yeah, uh-huh. Okay. So you can go sit with the people out there. They're really not people. The uh, AI people, I guess. So, so you're actually real now. So what happens is you're real for probably uh, a couple hours a month. So if you, if you, because the aliens have to attach your, your presence, uh, your mannequin, to your skeleton. That's your GPS location. So if you can think back, you can remember when maybe you thought, man, i got to clean my garage out right? Or I got to clean all the weeds out of my backyard and get all this inspiration coming right. And then you go to sleep, you know, you can do it tomorrow, right? You go to, go, go to sleep, wake up next morning, you go, ah, I don't want to do that, right? So, so that's when you're really here. Well, well yeah, yeah, it's when you have your inspiration, you, get, you got your shit going, right? Yeah, I'm going to do this, right? And, then, and after that, it's gone. So anybody else want to come up here and try this here? Anybody want to become real? And, and, the, and the question people ask me is, well, how long is this going to last? Well, it'll last as long as you're not dealing with a lot of emotional stuff. Remember, the aliens want you because you're tied into emotions, okay? 
because they want to steal your energy. So if you can be calm and peaceful, you could hold this for a week. And, and again, you can check the audience. The people that were up here before, you can probably see them glowing, right? And the other people look like mannequins. Here we go. So you guys ready? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. We'll just let you settle in here. Okay, now we're going to start. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 80. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 90. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 100. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 110. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 120. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 130. Some of you are kind of out there a ways. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, uh, 140. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 150. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 160. 1, 2, 3, here we go. Coming in. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. There. Anybody feel their body jerk or shift a little bit? And look at the audience and kind of scan them. And uh, there's a movie out uh, a long time ago, They Live. And you had to get these special glasses on to see these weird life forms and stuff. So now you're going to be with them. <laughs> so anyway, you can sit down. And uh, you should feel, uh, you might feel tingles. Uh, might feel warmer. And that's your spirit connecting to your body now. Maybe for the first time in uh, maybe a month for that two hours, okay? And you're having a lot of healing done. Uh, this lady here, yes. Could anybody, could anybody count to no. 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 Your, your intention? Oh, yeah. You, what makes mine? I'm out of time. I, I don't. I don't live in time. I, I, I'm from source energy, incarnated in this lifetime to help people. That's who I am. Uh, 2,000 years ago, I was a healer in Jesus' body to do healings. So I came back this time to teach ascension, which is to get rid of the energies inside of your body, which is your emotions, to help your spirit come back into your body so you could have a better life here and actually get out of here with your body. So another lady had a question over here. Yes. Okay, when I counted the different numbers, I'm commanding the energy. Remember, you have to command your spirit, and I had to command the energy of your body energy to get replaced to become human again. Yeah, yeah my energy is doing all this, yes, uh huh. Yeah. Yes. How long has the aliens been doing this? I don't know. A long, long time. Uh, most people that I have seen uh, have probably been stuck here for over 100,000 years. And every 2,000 years you have an ascension point to leave here. And the dark side will just take you sideways in a cloned uh, Earth planet with your you know, clone body. And uh, ascension would happen. The light would get uh, turned off. So there's no light of anything. Uh, the universe of light, we'll call it, uh, source energy, using that term, would actually uh, rematerialize itself over again into its creations of light, and then it would start over again. And then the darkness would bring people back onto the planet. Yes? What's the alien agenda? Uh, just, just control. Uh, eating people, mind controlling you, living off your energy. Uh, What's that? Parasitic, yeah. Yes. Yeah, a lot of them have that, yeah. And there are, are mechanical aliens, uh, you know, hybrids. When I battle some of those out there, I battle with my physical body and also in spirit, uh, both. Uh, I, I'm always bilocating back to source energy. So what I have done for you so far, I have no memory of that. I remember some people standing up here, but I don't, I don't live in your time. You see, I live out of time. So living out of time, I can actually see what's happening here. Are clones like, or I'm sorry, are aliens clones? Do they clone them or do they 
Oh, okay, there's two types of clones. Okay, what happened in 2012 is that, uh, okay, the, everybody here, uh, almost everybody will say on the planet is cloned every 10 minutes. Okay, so it's a replica of you coming back. Now, the true clones are not, don't have spirit energy in it. So the darkness created the, the, the clones of you using, uh, I use the word uh, dung pile. Okay, so they, they, they took parts of, of your spirit and sliced it, diced it up, and your body, right? And then they used that to create clones. And then from there, you're created from that. I think in the Bible, they kind of talk about you, you're from the earth, right? You know what I mean? I don't have much background on that, but, you know, they, you know, out of the dust and dirt, you, they created the body. Well, that's the dung pile. And so from there, you're created, and you live life, you're fine. But, but the new clones don't have any spirit energy in it. On my website, I have a clearing that can make the clones and the aliens come into light, and, and source energy will do that and make them into a human body again. So if you had uh, some friends of yours that you know about that seem kind of weird, they act a little strange to you, well, they're probably just cloned out. They're, they're real clone. Why do they want to have clones here? Well, clones are easy to control. They obey. They're, they're, they're like robotic energy, but they look human, and they bleed and everything else. But, but they can be controlled. Yes? Having your soul split off to live in the... Yeah, I don't, I don't, yeah, okay, uh, yeah. Uh, I don't get into channeling. I don't get into New Age metaphysics because most of that, if not all of it, is mind energy, okay? When you're mind energy, you're trapped here. You can't think your way out of here, okay? You have to go, I'll do the mind to heart drop. This will help all of you, so here we go. Uh, this you can do yourself whenever you want. I can only teach a few things. One is the, I, now increase my life force energy. Do that whenever you get tired. It'll bring your spirit more into your body, and it will awaken you and help healing. The next one is the mind of heart drop. This is the most important thing I can teach you. So when you leave here, you know, you're going to be thinking about clones, and you, when you walk out the door there, if you had this uh, process done to you, you're going to see everybody out there looking like artificial intelligent beings. You can go, uh-oh. You know, it, it'll be real to you. But the mind of heart drop is what you want to remember at my website, creationlifeship.com. Okay? <laughs> but the mind of heart drop, you command your spirit. Remember, you have to do it out, out loud. Otherwise, you're in the mental realm. It doesn't, uh, then you're in darkness. Command your spirit out loud to take your thoughts inside of your head and drop them down to your heart where your spirit resides. And I count from 10 to 1 backwards. So I'll do this for you. So we're commanding your spirit to do this. And I'm going to stop at 5 so you're going to feel your, your throat here, energy, uh, having uh, thoughts in it. So here we go. Dropping down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Everybody think right now. And you feel the energy in your throat as you're thinking. Uh, we'll continue down further into your heart center. So 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I'll do it again. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. There. So, when you're in your heart, there's no thoughts, okay? There's no guides, you know, which I don't believe in anyway. I mean, you know, you could have somebody hanging around you, but you're, you're in peace. Source energy is peace. Very little of no communication to you. But you have a knowing. You have a knowing of source energy. So the darkness took the energy that source had and just copied it and changed it slightly to make it look like it works for you. So if you try to an uh, analyze the energy from source energy, it'll look, kind of look all about the same, maybe 90% correct. There's always a little twist in it. That's your soul families. In source energy, there's no such thing as a soul family, but there's a home base energy that you go to. In source energy, there's, there's no angels, there's no nothing, it's just you. Nothing is any kind of hierarchy. There's no dimensions, okay? Here you have dimensions of aliens, which you're attached to. Remember, as above, so below, the mind control, okay? 
So, you know, people eat, uh, you know, food here, right? Maybe cattle, right? And their burgers and stuff. And the aliens see that the same, but they like you a little different. So, uh, you know, as above, so below. You know, you, you go out and you step on an ant, the ant goes up. Oh, some aliens going to step on me, right? Well, same thing. Yes? Every 10 minutes, yes. And, uh, so then how do you ever get totally out of it? Like, we're doing work now, but... How do you get out of it? You have to do clearings to clean yourself out. What was the teachings of Jesus? What did, what did he come here to do? He came here to take away your emotional energies, right? Which is darkness, thoughts, okay? Program thoughts in your body to get your spirit back into your body. Another way of saying that, when you see a baby, they're, they're glowing, right? Have all this life force energy. And then you teach them how to live here. You get into mind energy, right? Yes, no, stop, go, you know, do this, don't do that. And all of a sudden, the baby starts losing its spirit energy because the spirit energy does not understand mind energy. It's like water and oil. that doesn't even relate to it. And the more that you start learning about how to live here, unfortunately, right, because you have to learn how to live here, then you start losing your spirit energy. Then you spend your whole life trying to find it. Well, it's still with you, but you have to clean out your darkness that you took on and the darkness gets, gets energized in you through your DNA. So all your experiences that you're having is from your DNA from your ancestors. You're living their lifetimes. So you clean it out, do an emotional clearing. I charge $5 times your age. I give $50 off on, on the price for the expo here. It takes 10 minutes. Your whole lifetime is cleared out of emotions, probably 90% of them. Then you're peaceful as a Jesus did 2,000 years ago. So he came to teach ascension, to clean out the darkness out of people for the ascension that was happening back then. Very, very simple. You don't want to have any more DNA activations. You know, why get more judgment put into you? You already have tons of it. Okay, so you're, you're getting your DNA activated each time something happens. You watch TV, you see an event happening, all of a sudden, zap, that triggers you. Pushes one of your buttons. Now you're dealing with that lesson, that situation. In source energy, you don't have a life path. There's no such thing as a life path. Here you say, oh, what's my life path? Well, your life path is what your DNA is, what's kind of pushing you to do something. So you're limited to what you can do. In source energy, everything's available to you. I have uh, this over here. Let me get this. This is, uh, I need a, well, this is a model here, and you can see how it kind of looks a little different. I don't know if you can see it in the back of the room here, but, uh, you know, kind of skinny legs, right? And you go, what kind of person's that, you know? Well, it's just, uh, it's a clone. It's a new replica. Yes. Okay, uh, y well, okay, yeah, yeah, there are people that you have probably seen in, uh, uh, in the movies, right? And you go, man, how did that person look so young, right? Maybe you saw one movie and they looked kind of older, right? And now they look younger than that other movie, like they dropped 30 years out of their life. Uh, well, some of those people probably have a way to get cloned, okay? So they go down to the clone factories, have stuff done to them, and they come back up again. So it gets to be a little interesting. I can't talk too much on that. Uh, what I can say, a lot of the officials, whatever, who, whoever, whatever they would be, are cloned out, okay? Because they really don't want that person to take a bullet. So when the clone gets hit with a bullet, okay, hypothetically here, right? <laughs> 
they take the one out, they stop time. Remember, they know how to stop time. Everything here is controlled by aliens, okay? So, uh, uh, and they could be anywhere, okay? So, so all of a sudden they stop time, take the clone away, bring in a new one, and they start over again. That's why you see people uh, all the time changing in photographs. Go on to YouTube. That's very interesting to watch uh, some people. Uh, check out shapeshifters. Uh, a really neat one for entities uh, is uh, the barking cat. So watch that. <laughs> yes? Oh, how do you know when you're cloned out? Okay. Okay. Well, uh, what you can do, since the aliens are controlling you and they have their own agenda, you might feel kind of like not too smart someday, right? You go, man, what happened to me? Well, ask for a new clone, a smart one. And within 10 minutes, the next alien race that's controlling you can bring in a smarter clone. So you, you use it for your advantage. Can I do that with a physical ailment as well? Physical ailment, yeah. You want to get off the timelines. So you want to get out, off the timelines that cause your physical pain, your emotional stuff. But if you don't do an emotional clearing on yourself, you're, going to be, you're still going to be in the rat hole all the way down. You need to clean your body out first so you can have a fresh start in life, like a baby. Remember, the baby has no emotions. It knows how to cry because it probably has pain. Uh, there's probably, everybody in here probably has seen children, right? Or babies, right? Maybe you, know, you have kids. Well, what do you do when you hold a, a young child and the baby starts jerking around and crying? What, what is that? Well, the aliens are attacking the bottom of the feet of the baby. How many in here, when you're sleeping, you feel pins in the bottom of your legs or feet and your body starts jerking? Well, you're under attack. That's what it is. You know, you can say, oh, yeah, it's this, that, and the other, you know, my nervous system's doing this. No, you're under attack. I have an attack page on my website, and that's creationlifeship.com, and it's 30 bucks a month, and you go on there, and I have, I think, maybe like 10 different types of... Uh, uh, options. It's, it's very, very extensive for alien stuff to get them off your butt. Remember, the, the light doesn't. Uh, if it's if the aliens are here against your free will, then they'll be dealt with. Yes, the lady there. Because you're here right now. You, you, your spirit did not ascend. Okay, and your body. Well, your body died, but your spirit did not ascend, so you're in a body right now for, trying to get out of here. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. So, so you, you all missed the ascension that Jesus had 2,000 years ago. That's why you have overpopulation. Wrong with the planet. The, the thing wrong with the planet is that humans are on it, and they're being mind controlled by aliens. Yes, that's the problem. When you get into peace, you do the mind to heart drop. If you had everybody in this planet do the mind to heart drop, you'd have peace instantly here. Okay? And uh, instead, people teach meditations. It takes you 15 minutes to a few hours to do a meditation. And you're out in the Biondo through some guided meditation or going up and down some stairs or going to the volcano or wherever the hell you go to, right? Do the mind to heart drop. Ten seconds, you're in your heart. You can walk around, live life. And, you know, life is good at that point. Somebody will take you out of that space of, of no time, but at least you're there for a little bit. And if you do it a lot, get a day planner. <laughs> yes? Do you have several like mental, oh, yeah. Well, yeah, what the aliens put on your spirit is a barcode to track you and also on your body. Uh, I, I can take one off for a short time here for you. I'll, I'll take one off for uh, today for you. Okay, I'll take one off your body. We can see how you feel. Ready? I'll count to 10 to command the energy. I could just snap my finger, but people like to feel the energy move, okay? So here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. There, you feel body shifting? Feel better? So that's your tracking uh, barcode on you. I do have it on my website. It costs money to get it off for your lifetime, but I do have that. Uh, let's see here. Uh, timeline crashing is what you probably want to do. 
Uh, if you're older, you may want to do uh, the clearing that takes off your death bar codes. So most people will have three. Uh, well, you normally have three to begin with, okay? And you could have possibly up to a dozen of them. So what happens is you're, you're, uh, you're living life, and about 10 years before the barcode hits, you start feeling like something's going to be happening to you, right? So it doesn't feel right, or your energy kind of feels a little goofy. The barcode hits you. Maybe you're driving your car. You made your, quote, quote, spiritual agreement with your soul family because, you know, your spirit wants to get out of here. And uh, the soul family goes, oh, okay, I'll, you know, we'll get a car accident for you. We'll set this whole thing up, right? This is what your soul family does for you. Isn't that great? <laughs> and so now you get your car accident, and that's one of your death barcodes. So what happens? You're maybe in the hospital or something. Your, your healer inside of you, which I call your uh, mind of the body, goes, well, guy's going to die or she's going to die. I'm going to give up. So you lose about a third of your energy on the first death barcode. And then you get the next one coming. Remember, the aliens want to take you out of here. They only have you for so long. And if you're not useful, then they'll put barcodes on you. Because they want you to come back to get dusted off. Remember, you, you, you pick the best uh, 10 minutes. Thank you. You, have the, you pick the best of the worst parents, right? Because you wanna, your spirit wants to do something here. So it gets into alignment with your parents, right? And, it, and oh, this person is maybe a lawyer. This is a doctor, right? <laughs> Oh, God. And anyway, and then you become that, right? Uh, hopefully. You know, that's what your spirit's hoping to do. So it picks maybe, maybe 10 to 20 different talents, and maybe you happen to get one of those that you really have a niche with. And at that point, uh, you live life that way. But, but your death barcodes, maybe they don't want you to be here for more than 30 years. So they set you up with barcodes so that you're taken out of here. Now, your spirit, everybody goes, man, you know, I heard the new invention of physics that my spirit is this wonderful divine being and it's full of power. It can do anything. You ever hear that? Right? Well, if, if you hurt yourself, your spirit's out of your body, number one. It doesn't want to have pain. So when you need it the most, where is it? It's gone. Okay? It doesn't, doesn't want to be in darkness. So if your spirit was powerful, it would say, ah, ah, wait a minute, don't do this here. Right? It doesn't talk to you. Supposed to. It used to be in your body fully until the darkness came in here with the aliens. That's the alien agenda. Yes? Uh, so, when the barcode is released, like that, you feel wonderful. Um, where does our Your spirit's always with you. No, I mean, I guess I'm when you die. Oh, when you die? Okay, when you die. Your, your, your spirit hangs out. You have two, two main ener energies. You have your emotional energy of your body, and you have your spirit energy. So your emotional body hangs out here. can revisit friends. Uh, you could also have uh, uh, what I call entity childs. You could be an entity child where maybe your great-great-grandparents out there in the Beyondo with uh, either emotional energies and or spirit energies come together. They find two people to have sex. All of a sudden, you pop out. You're an entity child the one-night stand type situation, okay? So, so now your spirit, it'll hang around for maybe uh, a week, a month or so before it gets trapped back in the darkness. Now your spirit has the energy that you had when you died. So we'll just say that you have this gruesome car wreck, you know, maybe your arm's torn off and your legs are broken or whatever. Your spirit looks like that. So whatever you deal with here physically, that's how your spirit looks. Now, the dark side goes, well, okay, this one's dead now. It'll suck your spirit up. It'll give you the illusion, which is not an illusion, but it'll give you the scene, right, the uh, hologram of if you believe in Jesus or maybe you believe in this glass of water is going to save you or whatever, or you believe in rabbits or whatever. It, it'll give you that thing, show you all your relatives, create that hologram for you. You go into the tunnel of light, right, the dark side tunnel of light. I call it the light of the darkness. And from there, they dust you off. Right, get you so that you have all your spirit energy that they can possibly find that came here. Remember, when you're first born, you have more than what you have now, because they've taken you part of you away. Okay, you're out in the beyondo. So each lifetime, you lose part of part of your spirit energy, but it doesn't take much to to keep you going. A little grain of sand that you could have is wonderful. Maybe you had a old bucket when you first came here, but the one grain is going to work for you. Okay, 
so that so don't get caught on if you don't have much left. Okay? They dust that piece off, and they go, up. Oh, here we go. Pick your parents. You're forced back in here again. We need to have that emotional energy and your pain energy to live on. Yes? The alternative is to clean your body out of emotions so you can do the ascension. You have to work on yourself. You have to get those energies off of you. Yes, this lady. Creation Light Ship, L I G H T S H I P dot com. The booth is 244. And I have a workshop uh, a week from tomorrow on timeline crashing. It's 20 bucks for a couple hours if you're interested here. And uh, I'm going to energize a picture here for you so you can see how this works here. I have these at the booth also. Timeline crashing, what you do is you, you, you select uh, a situation that you're dealing with, okay? Everybody has some kind of situation. You select it, you put it into, into, the, into the website, it'll clear the energy off you. And you keep doing the timeline crashing until it feels better. You can watch the clouds even change in the sky when you do timeline crashing. This is a Merkaba. This is what you are spiritually. Okay? So let me energize that for you here. Just kind of watch it. It'll start to glow here a little bit. See it changing? It should be getting a little brighter. There. So I'll do one more question here. Yes? I just want to know more about you. When you become aware, are you, uh, do you have the same feelings as humans? Do you eat? Do you yeah, yeah. I do, I do all that stuff, yeah. And you came in as a baby? You know? Yeah, I just happened to, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, my body was prepared for this lifetime uh, from source energy. So I don't take on anything that I heal people with. Yes, uh-huh. I, I always buy, buy locate. So like I tell people, you don't want to be a healer because you're taking on all the stuff that you healed in those people. It will activate your DNA. So about what age did you become aware of your purpose? I, I came in at nine months. I'm sure I was aware, yeah. Uh huh. But that's my story. Is doesn't matter to me, or you know, you know, because I'm trying to help you. <laughs> so the whole thing is get your emotional clearing. I have it on my website. My website's active 24/7. Uh, do clearings on. I have a lot of free clearings. Uh, go to the alien side on the left side. There's uh, uh, sam- free sample healings. Click on them. There's about maybe uh, ten of them. I'm guessing. Uh, Gray skies is one of them. That's one of the government programs underground that I worked with. And we, uh, so I put that on the website to get rid of the aliens in the, in the ship clouds. So the ship clouds first appear, right, as ships, right? And then they go, oh, people are watching us. You know, we're uncovered now, right? And then what do they put up in the sky? Gray skies, right? And you go, why do I have gray skies? Well, that's because there's probably more ships there. So uh, I'm not talking about chemtrails, okay? That's, that's a whole different agenda. I'm talking about the, what you see in the sky. So you do the gray sky clearing, and all of a sudden you might get a hole opening up. Source energy comes through with the light, and it's wonderful. Yes? Oh, no, no, no. No, <laughs> no, no you, yeah, you don't even want to be with the Galactic Federation. No, no way. That's the aliens. Don't even go there. What did Jesus say on the cross? Why did you forsake me? That's who he's talking to. Your spirit. All you have is your spirit. Anything outside of yourself, you know, just be careful. I guess we're over, right? What's that? Water charging. Okay. One, one. Here we go. Water charging. Get your water if you have any. I'll count to five. So one, two, 
three, four, and five. There. So I'll, I'll, I'll divide it onto the uh, UFO panel. We'll see how that works out. So <laughs> that's, that's room, I think, seven, I believe. I'll be there in probably ten minutes. Thank <laughs> you. 